One of the biggest challenges photographers who start shooting video face is the fixed and relatively low shutter speed. When it comes to photography, your shutter can be set at any speed and changed according to the type of photograph you're trying to capture. This may be a low shutter to capture some streaking lights from night traffic or a high shutter speed to capture something fast like a moving car. When shooting stills, you can use just about whatever shutter speed suits your environment and it becomes a major tool in your arsenal for getting well-exposed, sharp-looking photos. With photography, shutter speed is one of three key pillars for controlling your exposure alongside aperture and ISO. But with video, shutter speed starts to take a back seat. You can no longer utilize a different shutter speed to help expose correctly. When shooting video, your shutter speed is much less flexible and is ultimately tied to the frame rate you're shooting at. In order to get realistic motion blur in your videos, we need to follow what's called the 180 degree rule. Essentially, what this rule comes down to is setting your shutter speed at twice your frame rate. So if you're filming at 25 frames per second, set your shutter speed at 1 50th. If you're filming slow motion at 100 frames per second, set your shutter to as close to 1 200th as you can. If you're a photographer, this may feel a bit restrictive and almost certainly unfamiliar but it's actually for a very good reason. The reason for this rule is to create consistent, realistic motion blur. Essentially, the shutter speed determines the amount of motion blur in your video. If it's too low, you'll get blurred and juttery movement. If it's too fast, your video will look unnatural and overly sharp, which generally you'll want to avoid. Having to stick with a fixed shutter speed can feel a bit limiting. And if you're wanting to shoot video at wide aperture, you'll often find yourself struggling with overexposed footage on bright days. You might wonder how you can adjust exposure. Now for a more detailed look at exposure, please watch the video we've created on exposure. Here's how to set your shutter speed on the FS5 Mark II. We're going to use the direct menu on the multifunction hand grip. So first of all, press the assign button. In the display, you'll see a cursor. Now white shows selectable items and orange indicates the selected item. You simply cursor along, in this case to shutter, press once to select, and you'll see the item highlighted in gray. Then use the cursor to move up or down to change the shutter value. Once your desired values are displayed, press the multifunction selector. To set your shutter speed on the A7 Mark III, make sure you're in camera menu mode two exposure mode, and it's set to manual exposure, then select the desired shutter speed by adjusting the rear jog wheel. Now, all of these things are rules that can be broken, because if you're looking for a specific effect, a high shutter speed can give you an interesting look. But as a general rule of thumb, if you set your shutter speed to twice your frame rate, you won't go too wrong. Hi, I'm Dan Lenny. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can find other useful tutorials and video creation by clicking the link shown. Be sure to click and subscribe to let us help you enhance your skills and be a great video creator.